Your tendon is the tissue that attaches your muscle to your bone. And it's very, very tough. Now, if you've got a problem with your tendon, it'll often be called a tendonitis or sometimes a tendinosis. But I'm going to call it a tendinopathy because it's a pathology of the tendon. Now, if you have a tendon issue, it will react in the same way regardless of which tendon it is. It doesn't matter if it's the Achilles tendon, your bicep tendon, your patella tendon, doesn't matter. They all react in the same way. Now, the cause of tendinopathies, a lot of the time, is from a sudden increase in load. Whether that's an increase in running time, or whether that's an increase of weight you're using in the gym. Or even sometimes it can be from a change on the surface you're running, or the footwear you're using, which then translates into an increase in load that the tendon can't handle. So, when you get a normal tendon, you give it a load, it adapts, and it strengthens. Now, when the load is excessive or suddenly increased, then you go through the different stages of tendinopathy. Now, the first stage of tendinopathy is called a reactive tendinopathy. And at this stage, there won't be inflammation, but there'll be what's described as a, a short-term thickening and stiffening of the tendon. And this is basically happening because your tendon is trying to cope with the stress that you're giving it. Now, after a change in load, and a bit of time off then you can normally go back to full health fairly fairly quickly now following on from that the next stage is tendon disrepair this is when the tendon has attempted to heal but hasn't managed to and there's going to be swelling and these tendons often have one particular area or point that is predominantly stiff and painful and again, once the load has been modified, the tendon normally can go back to being healthy. Now, this is what people consider to be a tendonitis. Um, obviously, the reactive tendinopathy, which is the first stage, is what people consider to be a tendinosis. Now, that was the second stage, tendon disrepair. So you've got a bit of swelling. You've got a particularly sore point. But, you know, you unload the tendon, you give it some time to rest and you start progressively going back into your activity and it's fine. Now the final stage is degenerative tendinopathy. Now this is a chronic injury and there's going to be a lot of swelling and there's going to be a lot of things happening at cell level in this tendon. There's going to be cell death and disorder in the cell matrix and this is basically the very final stage that you can get to before the tendon fully ruptures. So the emphasis of the rehab work during this point will be on eccentric work more manual therapy such as friction massage and this basically is used to increase cell activity in the area. Now at the other end of the continuum this paper suggests that a totally unloaded tendon can become stress shielded and then when you go back to your normal activity the tendon goes straight to a reactive tendinopathy and you start to get pain. Obviously you would need to build back up to the point where you were at before the pain started coming on. So anyway using Cook's model in this paper, it's possible to see that the best way to combat a tendinopathy problem, whether it's a tendinosis or a, a tendinitis, would be a suitable rehab program, which modifies load and volume, as well as manual therapy, which can potentially help to speed up the recovery. So for more info, check out the link below. Cheers.